Okay, so where were we? Been a few minutes. Um, so I had switched to Imperial units and um, I'm still, I still gotta look up to see if, you know, if we can do a one-to-one, -one, like for instance, a blender unit equaling a foot or something, even if it has to be, you know, 0.3 or, or whatever it is. So, um, we'll see if we can, we can figure that out. So let's go back to not available test, user testing, but interface. Okay, so there's that. Close that. Gamer days. How do I scale my reference image correctly within Blender? Um, is there an easy right way? I'm trying to model this car that I got blueprints and copied each of the views to check they're all within scale of each other. I use the blueprints here. I didn't have to resize any of them, just crop it so I know their view. Um, when I placed them in Blender, they got resized. I don't know how to scale them within Blender. But just the reference images? Yes. Um, the way you scale the background, adjusting the size value. Yeah, um, okay, I, I see there's a size value. I actually just use scale um, when I'm in object mode to scale the image. But uh, that doesn't really matter. And that's not really of interest. Um, Blender scale tool, grid setting properties, options. Um, let's see. Let me switch back to here, which I should have done anyways. I apologize still. Um, and oh, I guess you don't see the, the little white rectangle here where that little uh, pop up was. That's because I'm now out of um, arrow. Arrow's turned off for for um, OBS, which is fine actually. It's actually quick. Things are quicker in that. I can open uh, you know folders and stuff really quick because of that. Um, okay, so grid setting properties and options in Blender. Okay, so let's look at this in metric and imperial units in Blender. Um, maybe I should do a thing, um, let's see, one unit versus one foot, something like that, one, f okay, see, metric and imperial units, that's what I just clicked, cat's bits, I think, uh, I didn't, uh, I don't know if I have bookmark this but I think I bookmarked something from here uh, Blender provides three distinct types of unit that can be used to measure objects in a scene non imperial and metric although relatively self-explanatory uh, some caveats let's see uh, basic understanding of Blender is recommended but not specifically required the distance and their angle between two points, uh, units of measurement, none. Each type of unit has its own sets uh, of options. Unit subsystem, which itself can be found within scene properties, breaks down as follows. Done represents, uh, represents simple unit based measurement. Metric re represents millimeters, meters, etc. Imperial represents inches, foot, mile. Design note. The unit of Blender's default system, none while similarly decimal in nature to metric, has no meaning about its face value. In other words, by itself, a measurement of 1,000 means 1,000 units and nothing more, whereas 1,000 within the metric might be referring to any man manner of unit types. Is that 1,000 meters, kilometers, etc.? In essence, the way unit system work is twofold. The unit type selected defines what each unit of measurement means. Gives context and numerical values, uh, arranges the appearance of the grid. 3D views have predetermined characteristics. Uh, okay, so selecting one of the other systems, um, the grid is changed, display each is so larger or smaller, depending. Okay, that doesn't really. Um, 
clicking on the scene um, that's the same way here I clicked on the scene Imperial when selecting Imperial in the 3D views gr grid when viewed in perspective mode this tends to resize quite significantly because each cell represents a small unit of measurement foot set to meters each minor grid cell becomes a one by one meter area and a major grid unit that representing a 10 by 10 meter where it's set to imperial each minor cell is one by one foot area a major grid then represents a 10 square foot area which is significantly smaller than 10 square meters this, this that's fine with me if it one unit is uh, is uh, one foot right uh, okay selecting metric selecting imperial similarly reveals an additional set of options scale the same two degrees of radians separate unit options uh, and then they talk about 2.71 which is old default object units and grid size okay so uh, I'm gonna stop there and I'm gonna continue on in the uh, next uh, video just to keep things rolling along here so thanks for watching and we'll figure this out and then we'll do that